and gentlemen of the YouTube lands, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have here the Don Machi Memoria Freeze uh, tier list. So this is something that a lot of people have been kind of circulating around the interwebs, and basically uh, I wanted to take my own stab at it because I felt very passionate about it, and I did not agree with a lot of things on the ones that I have seen. So, uh, just to preface this, uh, I am going to be taking these uh, by their subcategory. So, as you know, there are uh, five different categories. We do have Defense, Healer, Magic Attacker, Physical Attacker, and then Balanced. I'll be looking at each pullable character or summonable character right now uh, in which uh, they just do their job. So, if you are a healer, I expect you to be able to do a lot of heals. Uh, if you are somebody who is defensive, I expect you to be able to be beefy, to take aggro, to uh, not really do too much damage, things of that nature. You know, you kind of get the gist. But, you know, if on the flip side you are a healer, you know, a healer, but you're doing a lot of damage, you're not doing your job. So uh, I kind of wanted to make this kind of rounded out towards each category so that it can be a better tier list so you can just kind of say okay hey i need a healer and these are the pullable healers right now can i look at this person and say okay how are they are they a good healer uh okay not really but this healer this is a good healer for these reasons so now that we've prefaced this Let's kind of go in and take a look at what we have here. So for today's video, for the tier list for Don Machi Memoria Freeze, we will be taking a look at the defense and the healer category. So as you can see here, uh, we only have the this person right here, Wealth, is our only pullable defensive person that is four star so let's go ahead and take a look at him as you can see here <clears throat> at level 60 he does have uh 269 strength rank d uh 303 endurance rank a rank b dexterity 214 and then agility and magic at rank f 100 and 136 respectively now as far as his abilities are concerned uh we do have the special it is an ultra ice magic attack indexed to endurance and magic so typically your magic attacks are going to be uh based off of what your magic is but since he is going to be a defensive character this is going to be indexed towards his endurance plus his magic his combat skills are going to be high physical attack uh for his first one moon slash it's going to be a high physical physical attack with temporary strength boost and agility minus 20 percent on the enemy for four turns then we have willow wisp we have a self only it reflects one uh magic attack excluding the special arts then he has a 75 percent taunt so just kind of taking a look a look at this character uh i do you know i, I cannot complain about him you know he does have the uh the reflect on magic attack and he does have a 75 percent chance to taunt all the foes i believe it's all the foes since it has foes in plural but uh, i can only assume since i do not have him that it's going to be every single mob on the field that he is going to be taunting those two abilities right there are going to be extremely good for a defensive type of character somebody that i want to draw the aggro off of me to be a beefy character so that you know my squishy you know little magic dealer over here ain't gonna get one shot booty blasted because you know he's paper thin you know, we can't have that happening. So uh, as far as those two attacks, those are very good. He does have the uh, Moon Slash, which is going to take the minus 20% agility off of the enemies for four turns. That is extremely good just for the sheer fact that the agility kind of tells you, okay, who is going to attack first and then who's going to attack in what order. So if you can make the mob slower instead of getting one shot booty blasted your little paper thin but hits like a truck little uh, magic dealer over here will be able to survive because they were able to use their abilities first and hopefully kill the enemy that you're attacking the one thing that i have to complain about wealth is his special he does have the ultra ice magic attack uh for me if i'm looking for a defensive character 
I am wanting somebody who's going to say, okay, you know, maybe you can buff me up. Maybe you can, uh, <clears throat> you know, 100% draw all the foes onto you or just something of that nature. I understand he does need to be able to attack, but I want to really focus in on the single character alone and what they can do alone for their job. He is a defensive person. I need him to be defending me, not attacking. So overall, uh, you know, there's only one defensive character you could pull. It is this character right now. So I definitely cannot complain. He, he, Obviously, he's going to be the number one out of one, but uh, as a defensive character overall, I definitely say he is good. Uh, I don't know what the others can do, but this guy is definitely pretty damn good. The second one we're going to be taking a look at is the healer category. Now, I feel like a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, yeah, we all know where this is going, huh? <laughs> do ya? Do ya? Let's go ahead and jump right into this because I am extremely excited for this. And this is the main reason why I created this little list that we have here. So first off, we have a mid. A mid, we're just going to look at all of her stats. You know, strength, endurance, dexterity, agility, magic, 154, 103, 260, 242, 414. We are going to look at them at just level 60 just because we're going to assume that, you know, Either you're not super lucky or you're not a whale. You're just free to play. You just get them one time. That's what we're going to be basing the assumption off of. So let's go ahead and look straight into her attacks. She does have the high heal and 50 MP heal for her special. The MP is basically your mana points where it allows you to be able to use your abilities, your combat skills. Her combat skills are going to be a mid heal, a seal resist plus 50% for four turns, and then another heal. Now, this is extremely good. This is literally everything I can ask of out of a healer. Uh, I recently just fought against the monkey on, I believe it's floor 4 or quest 410. I took all of my own characters, uh, which this will be in a, a little video later down the road. But uh, you'll see that this amid literally saved me. Her special, her one heal ability, because, you know, I don't have her leveled up, uh, literally saved me. And uh, definitely everything that you can look for out of a healer is going to be a mid the seal resist plus 50 percent is basically saying okay hey uh the uh the enemy is going to basically cut off your abilities you can't use your abilities for x amount of turns but if you have your seal resist that has the increased chance of basically negating that and you still being able to use your abilities next we have fells we're going to take a look at his abilities we're going to say strength 152 uh 100 endurance 259 dex 221 agility and 430 magic now with fells we do have a high heal and removes all debuffs excluding assist skills he also has a mid heal for his first ability. He has a high thunder magic attack for his second ability. And then he has God's Theorem, which is a physical resist and ailment resist plus 20% for four turns. Now, Fels is going to be a healer that you kind of have that rounds you out. He is able to heal you with his special and his first ability. However, his third and fourth abilities kind of buffer him. Let's say, you know, you have a three-star Reveria or, you know, a three-star healer, a two-star healer, but you need somebody to kind of back you up just in case they get booted blasted and you don't have an extra healer. Fels is definitely the person to go for with his ability to do high thunder magic damage and he is also able to give you a little bit of buffs for your physical and ailment resist that's definitely something you can't take away from him uh, as far as his healing goes but like i said if i want to heal her i need somebody that's going to be able to keep me alive at all times so that kind of does take away from him with that third or that second ability that magic attack but you cannot overlook the removing all debuffs as that could potentially remove that seal that we were talking about with a mid earlier. The next person we have is Lily Ruka Arde. She does have 151 strength, 104 endurance, 292 dexterity, 238 agility, and 390 magic. Now, her special is going to be the ultralight magic attack. Then her combat skills are going to be as follows. A low heal and ailment cure. A low dark magic attack and poison with 10%
damage of poison. Then, last but not least, she will have a high fire magic attack. Now, I can I can understand. Actually, I uh, I cannot understand why you're gonna have somebody like this who obviously does so much magic attack be considered a healer just because you have a low heal ability and ailment cure that to me is definitely not a healer and should not be a focused healer especially if you need somebody to keep your team alive uh, if you need a magic damage dealer that does one heal or just a little baby heal, then this is definitely the person you're looking for. But if you are looking for a straight up healer or somebody whose primary focus is a heal, Lily Ruka is not your girl to go for. Uh, this one in particular, Disguised Palum, Lily. The last person we're going to be taking a look at is going to be Riveria, the Royal Elf. We're going to sit at 154 strength, 99 endurance. 260 dexterity, 220 agility, and 414 magic. Now, her skills are as follows. Her special is the Ultra Fire Magic Attack. Then, we have her combat skills as follows. For the first one is going to be a mid heal and endurance plus 10% for two turns. She has the uh, Veil Breath which gives a physical resist plus 10% for all allies for four turns, and it gives a slight heal. Now, in my opinion, a low heal is going to be bigger than a slight heal. Then her last ability is going to be her Win Fimbulvitter. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even know why I tried that one, but either which way, it is going to be a high ice magic attack, and it's going to decrease the enemy's endurance by 10 percent for two turns now at the very least with riveria she does have two heals compared to lily's one heal however there is still just not enough heals there for me you know you do have a slight heal and you have a mid heal however on the first two people we were looking at high heals mid heals uh, i don't think either one of them had an ultra heal because i'm pretty sure i would have remembered that i could be wrong though but either which way the reveria does a good bit of magic damage with fire and ice but her healing which is what her job is categorized as is not that impressive to go back and basically recap if you are looking for a healer who is going to keep you alive based off of this single unit the tier list for the healer is as follows coming in at number one will be a mid she just does all the heals literally she does all the heals and makes sure she doesn't get canceled from doing the heals so she will be number one Number two, we will have Fells. Like I said, he does have that high heal. He can remove all your debuffs. He does have the mid heal, and he can, in at the very least, increase your buffs, but it does kind of just, just, he's that round you off type of healer that can do a little bit of damage. The third one for this list is going to be Riveria, as we just went over her very briefly. She does that mid heal. She does that uh, slight heal so that is gonna be decent but it's not that great last on the tier list for the healers is going to be lily uh, she has a low heal and ailment cure that's all she can do as far as healing is concerned definitely not going to be the healer that you want to keep you alive guys thank you so much for watching the video let me know down below in the comments what you think of this type of tier list now i do have this set up for the magic damage dealers the physical damage dealers and the balanced characters these will be coming out uh within the next few days if not all in the next you know day or so so uh i'm really curious what y'all think of this type of tier list this doesn't say oh hey if you're a healer we're going to put you in this physical attacker tier list and we're just going to put you at the bottom because you can't physical attack you know that's the thing that was annoying me the most so let me know what y'all guys think of this type of tier list i for one really enjoy this because it tells me down to the nitty-gritty what their job is and how well they do it 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate the support a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, make sure to give the video a like, a share, a comment, maybe a subscribe if you enjoyed this type of video. I will be doing more Don Machi uh, content as I am really, really loving this game a lot. And once you subscribe, be sure to turn on those notifications. Last but not least, check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Discord server, my Twitch stream, my Patreon page, and any social media such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Guys, like I said, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as y'all know, that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.